Hi, I'm Art Johnson with the Minority Business and Youth Alliance. I'm here with Mr. Fred Maxey of Ballard Auto Licensing. Can you tell us about what Ballard Auto Licensing does and what's so neat about your business? For sure, Art. Uh, what a lot of people don't understand in Washington State is most of the local, local neighborhood licensing agencies are privately owned. And Ballard Licensing is one of those 104 privately owned licensing agencies. Uh, we earn our fee from our customer by giving them convenience and such as this agency here, it's a Saturday afternoon. We're open until 6 o'clock, unlike government agencies, which closed at 4.30 or 5 yesterday. Uh, so our focus is customer service. We're here to make it easier for you to do what you need to do to license your vehicle or your vessel. And the whole concept is uh, part of the uh, spinoff of the privatization movement. Privatization of licensing agencies by the state of Washington started about 60 years ago, believe it or not. So I'm a privately owned business, but my product is state licensing. So we're a sub agency of the state of Washington. And we're privately run, privately owned, which saves the taxpayers millions of dollars every year. One of the things, yeah, one of the things that uh, Fred, you're also a member of Table 100, and I happen to know many roles that you've played. One of the things that comes out in, in looking with his business, he's a very innovative business. And he's always a front runner in just about everything he does. He's uh, actively involved with uh, all kinds of businesses, and he's also had a background. Actually, you were actually a, a counselor, a youth counselor you know, with the probation department a long time ago. And I've been talking to you and talking about this whole idea of working with at-risk or involved youth. Yes. Can you, and we're talking about uh, having some kind of a placement this summer where you can find some work for these youth to do as interns. Can you talk a little bit about what some of the things that you, you could do with these youth? Well, I was thinking that our agency could be one of the a multiple, uh, uh, multiplicity of agencies and businesses that would be good for young people as well as older people to learn about because a lot of people don't realize that we're privately owned business businesses. But just like government or organizations or local stores, etc., the thing that we all have in common is we're all customer service based. So whether you're selling shoes, insurance, or driver's licensing, you're in business to give good service to the customers that come to you. So this is a unique way, I think, for a lot of you uh, people who have not uh, had much experience in the work world dealing with the public to realize yeah. that you're always in customer service when you're dealing with the public. Even if they have you stored away in a back room somewhere else, what you're doing is providing a service for the general public. So no matter what you're doing to earn a living, you're always in customer service because you're doing something that's, uh, that's providing a service that somebody needs whether they see you doing it or not. Now, one of the things I did notice, we've been talking about the fact that you have Clearwire, or you're a Clearwire dealer. Right. Is that, it that's possible that, that could, the youth could be behind that counter, sure. working with some of the information about that and providing, helping you provide that service, or just some of these kids are knowledgeable about the Internet? Yes, Art, right. and that's also another example of how unusual being privately owned government. <laughs> yeah, agencies. you do all kinds of things. A lot of people come in here, they don't expect us to be doing, selling them other things like clear wire. Right. Another right. reason for us to give the best possible customer service. Right. Another reason for us to cooperate with other fellow business people like the shoe store downstairs and, the, and my other uh, 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 Ballard uh, businesses. <laughs> and so we refer business to each other and we do business with each other. So it's a community of yeah. business people. A community right. of business. Right. We support each other. And I think this is a good way for young people starting out to understand that concept, that whatever you're doing, you're not an island to yourself. You're always going to do better by incorporating and assisting other people right. that are in business also. Right. Wow, that's a great, that's going to be a great opportunity. It's so much action going over here. You see people, it's not the same group of people who go to this interview here. They all move through the line just in four minutes that I just noticed here. So it's going to be a wonderful action kind of oriented day. So these kids will probably come over two or three hours in the afternoon or something like that, and you can put them to work to do something. Sure, we'd be happy to have them. Okay, well, great. Well, thank you so much. This is going to be a wonderful internship. Thank you so much. Thank you, Art.